Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors Age of Peace. Except there's a blood moon in one of the levels, so everything's- my- my intro, my- my- my opening screen has been ruined. So why not, I guess, look at a few other things in the overworld, and then maybe we'll go have a look at doing the blood moon, whatever thing. Blessing of the Great Fairies. The Great Fairies have offered to uh, imbue your clothes with protection. If you can give them what they need, quick. Uh, and gather what they they've requested before they change their minds. Oh. The great fairies imbued your clothes with protective magic, slipping them on. You felt a curious sense of comfort, as though you are being held in a warm embrace. Reduced enemy damage by five percent. That's useful. What else can I do? A gift from the sky. Though he hasn't said as much, Sidon is clearly a bit worn out. Those daily practice climb, climb up failed falls, seems to have taken a toll on his stamina. Give the prince an energizing pick me up. I seem to have improved. Those foods really put the spring back in inside and step. His next ascent up, veiled falls, was so dazzling, onlookers believed him to be the legendary gift from the sky. Man manifest. Press CR at the right time after boosting a, s a strong attack to gain knockback resistance. Interesting, interesting. How much does... How, how is that going? 97! Oh my goodness. Is this the last one? Armor that shines like a jewel. A Zora craftsman with a passion for making armor could use help acquiring decorative materials. You see for his next piece to be perfect. Uh, balance uh, of, I of form and function. He needs gems. Good thing we've got many. Upon receiving the rare materials, the craftsman whopped, whooped with joy, for he could realize his artistic vision with no compromises. Apparently, he was making this armor for none other than Mipha. Cause splash damage to nearby enemies when you emerge from a waterfall. And the Nehru levels up for the last time we get 50 Luminous Stone. The hope of Lanayru helped those with problems in Lanayru, the Lanayru region to make the world a happier place. Beautiful work. You helped everyone with problems in, in Lanayru and received some things use, useful for combat. You have raised, raised everyone's spirits and made the world somewhat brighter. Sapphire Circlet. Oh my goodness, that entire region is done now. There's only a few other regions that... Like, there are a lot of the regions are very close to being done as well. Not just that one. Let's buy some more of these. I did mark a few more quests, so I can focus a little bit. Let's do that. Is there a, a shop selling those? Does, it looks like it. Okay, cool. I think? Maybe? No, this is just, just selling chill shroom. Also in the central Hyrule, uh, Mabe shop ranch, Mabe ranch co-op shop, what? Uh, they sell eggs, so if you need eggs for good stuff, you can just buy them there all the time. Doesn't look like there's any shops selling the stuff I want, so how about we go into the road to the ancient tech lab. It was a blood moon. There's, a uh, two Koroks there and also four chests, so... I can remember that. I don't know if I will. It'd be good to write it down. Two and four. Two and four. Two and four. I just need to remember there's two Koroks, basically. The chests are on the map, so... Anyway, let's switch characters, because I need to focus on specific traits now. And probably can level up some of the lower level characters as well. I think I'll leave Zelda there. Oh, I have to leave Zelda there. Okay. Let's go. Okay, it's a blood moon, so enemies are going to be tougher. Now, let's just crush everything in our path since we're just so strong. Oh my goodness, Great Fairy, you're in the way. Like, really in the way. Oh my goodness. Anyway, we're fairly strong compared to everything, but they're stronger because it's a blood moon, so... It's a little bit of an extra challenge, but we also need to get everything else that's here anyway, so... 
two Koroks and we can see some of the chests on the map. Now, the reason I'm using Hestu is because if I use him enough and get more of his weapons, I can get a special ability to make get Koroks better without having to worry about everything. Now, let's actually keep an eye out for Koroks because they could literally be anywhere and I would have no idea. Also, it's going to be a bit difficult with Hestu to find them because they he has the sound effect that the nearby Koroks make and it's just makes it very confusing quickly so let's keep our eyes open for anything so let's see Koroks could be in boxes they disguise themselves as flowers or something like that they could be glowing spots they could be any number of things they can be balloons that swirl around that you have to destroy they could be platforms that you have to press the button on just so many things. I think pinwheels as well. Also, it's so weird with the blood moon because the lighting is just all wrong. It feels wrong. It's not a great look, but anyway. Let's just cut through a few more enemies. Make our way to wherever this chest is since it's right over here. I don't know how I missed it if it's right over here. Oh, it's in the ground. Okay. That makes a bit of sense. Magnesis. Oh my goodness, and Hestu actually brings the chest out of the ground anyway. Okay, Wizard you're in for a bad day. For more than one reason. Mostly because there's a great fairy right behind you. But also I'm here. So let's just take you out. Basically, completely. Blow you up. And weak point smash, please. Great fairies. Go away. Ah. Okay, there we go. Great fairies like to push me around. It's kind of rude. Is there a boxes over here? Nothing. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Apparently that's a box I can't break. Those are. Cut through a few more things in here. Probably should look around as well, just to make sure I'm not missing anything. There's a lot of areas where I can actually just go around things. It'll be quite easy to hide things around them, I suppose. Maybe? I don't think I can go any further back, back here, though. So it does seem to be everything. Great Fairy, you didn't need to be rescued. Just start pretending. And stop pushing me around, too. Shaka shaka. How did that not kill that enemy in one go? Oh my goodness. Get destroyed. Great fairy, stop pushing me! Oh my goodness, that's so rude. Anything else out here? Doesn't appear to be... There is a chest over this way there, so I need to make sure I pick that up. I don't know where it is. It's, is it in the ground? Oh, it is right there. Cool. The lighting makes this even harder. Let's grab that. Oh, and there's a Korok right here. Of course there is. Let's grab that. That means there's only one Korok left. Just taking the extra time to actually look around is what's necessary for this. Oh my goodness. How strong is this Guardian? Can I just, like, destroy you? No, you've just got extra health for some reason. But I can still destroy you. Excuse me, trying to get through. Okay, so I got this one, so there's definitely not an extra one here. Because that'd be weird. Um... Does the map show me where the previous ones are? Maybe? No, that's annoying. I yeah, wish it would. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hard, words are hard. You know? You know, words are kind of hard. Um, It'd be nice if the map would show me where previously collected Koroks were. So I didn't accidentally go looking around in places I've already been. Is there anything in here that I should know about? I don't think I ever saw this last time. Although the last time we were here was like 
billions of years ago. Especially because episode 4 isn't even published yet, so... Is there anything in the water? Anything outside of the water? There's just so much extra stuff here that I don't need to worry about. Um... Let's check up here, maybe. Maybe even ruin this Guardian's day. Although I don't think it's actually gonna die. At least I can paralyze it. So it can't go anywhere and chase after me and get in the way, like the Great Fairy. Just gonna do that a whole bunch. Oh, he's going away. Okay, then. Oh my goodness. My attacks just look like Koroks I need to collect. This is making things difficult. I can't go through here, can I? Maybe? Oh, probably later on, when extra other stuff happens. Since I also have to appeal to the rest of the, uh, the regular stage instructions. The outline. Nothing down here. You really think you can just shoot me like that? That's so rude. Arrgh. I can, I can skip that. Good. Just gonna dance a little bit more. And blow up some stuff as well, maybe. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm just gonna leave you be. You're very strong, still. Is that stuff I can get to? No, it is not. Maybe there's something over here that I need to worry about. No. There's a box over here. Some a few boxes. Oh, I can't. No, I can. What is happening? There are boxes that you can destroy, but they don't let me destroy it for some reason. I think I explored that entire outpost. Let's keep moving, making sure I'm not missing anything at all. Considering there was one that was just on the path that I didn't see apparently last time. Ow. So rude. Everything's so rude in this level. Now. Nothing back here. Okay. Let's head up this way. See if I can find something. It's probably... I probably missed it because of characters going on their own and switching between them and stuff like that, so... I can expect to find something. Probably on just one of them in the, the main paths. But I guess it could also just be hidden somewhat well. Maybe. Break some more boxes and stuff. Okay. Also need to get that other treasure chest at some point. Okay. This is a big place, so maybe it's in here somewhere. I don't think I spent much time in here. The first time I was here, since this is just such a big area. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Well, that's all the Korok's done. Now we can just smash through everything and just focus on finishing up, I guess. Can I blow this up? No. That's just an actual part of the level. Okay, well now that all that is that that now all that is done, let's finish up all the rest of the stuff. You go over and get that chest over there. I'm gonna take out the guardian stuff that I'm supposed to be doing. Use my special, and hopefully I can get some better stuff. Just take this. Weak point smash, I guess, maybe. Or just destroy it. Like that. I think that was actually my weak point smash anyway. Let's go crazy. Have everything dance with me as well. Hello, Moblin. How's your day going? Not good anymore. Please, weak point smash. Thank you. 
Okay, there we go. And now, where is space? Where is space? Where is where 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 am I doing? Where 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 am I doing? Let's activate that, please. Thank you. I like the look of the the good guardians. Let's send you over to this chest over here. Okay, can I please skip that? No. Okay. Guess it's doing damage to something. Where is this chest? Where is it? Right there. Cool. How? Oh! What? What is happening? Why is the great fairy almost dead? That doesn't seem right. Okay. Let's send you over here. Zelda, where are you? There. Cool. That's pretty close to where I need to be anyway. Just need to go past a few enemies. This Blood Moon's not seemingly doing much, but I guess they are a little bit stronger since I'm not taking that in one hit. And they are doing a fair bit of damage to me as well. I'm just going to take out this outpost, I suppose. This is still not worth looking at any of the regular enemies, though. They're just so much lower leveled now that we've finished the game. Oh, I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. Why don't you finish your day off? Goodbye. Go. Oh my goodness, one blast just ruins his day. Let's keep moving. Using get, get, Getting more trophies was also probably a good plan for this. Now where? Is treasure chest right there? Cool, got it. Amber. All that's left is to finish up over here, and then I can move on. Okay. I have all the chests, right? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure I got all the crocs since there were only two. Stasis. Ruin your day. And there's also a great fairy here as well, that's ruining my day. Why? Why? Weak point smash, there we go. Now, where is everyone else? Because I, you can probably all go down here. Where, where, oh my goodness. I'm getting a little bit confused, which is fine. Excuse me, great fairy. Great fairy, oh my goodness. You are being a problem. Activate. There we go. Let's send Zelda. Actually, can I just jump down from here? I'm pretty sure I can jump down from here. Oh, I can. Because the Great Fairy just jumped off of that. That looks so weird seeing the Great Fairy jump off like that. Anyway. I need to lower the thing over here. So let's go ahead and do that. Mr. Guardian, I have a gift for you. If you'll just come with me, sir. Come on. Oh my goodness, Guardian. What are you doing? Come on, Guardian. I'm just gonna lure you like this. This seems like the best move. I guess it's probably impossible to make it immobile. Otherwise, you'd probably be unable to finish the mission properly. Can't see where I'm going. That's fine, because I don't know where I've been. Oh, where's the door? Where's the door? There. This is fine. Great Fairy, don't get in the way. I'm trying to do something. There we go. Oh my gosh. Let's ruin this thing up. I've got three specials ready. I only need two. 
There we go. Also, I'm kind of surprised that Pura and Robbie aren't playable characters, kind of. They look like they were gonna be because they got introduced, but they didn't, so. Oh my gosh. Shakalaka maracas. What? Well, that's not quite what I was aiming for in terms of weapons for Kess 2, but okay. I guess we got all that because we did a Blood Moon. But anyway, that is it for this episode of Hyrule Warriors Age of Peace. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.